Hi, I'm Heather from Hand Booktubes, and today is fake dating recommendations. This does not include arranged marriages or fake marriages or marriage of convenience, any of those things. Marriage will be its own uh, video, so this is just fake dating. And I love this trope, who doesn't? You have two people who aren't in love yet, but have to do things to make other people think that they're in love, and of course, they get there. You also often have forced proximity and all the other lovely little sub tropes that we love. So number one, I have A Lot Like Love by Julie James. This is FBI slash US attorney number two. So Jordan is a billionaire's daughter and she owns a wine shop. This takes place in Chicago. And Nick is an undercover agent. Uh, Jordan's brother has had trouble with the law in a big way. <laughs> And basically Nick threatens her brother's freedom and him getting released from prison. And so she agrees to pretend to date him to get him undercover and into a specific uh, shop that they want to wire. So it's all for the case. And of course they catch real feelings and uh, it's funny, it's delightful. You can read these out of order. Absolutely. They are standalone romances. The entire series is great though. You should try it. Next I have Fixed Her Up, which is Hot and Hammer number one by Tessa Bailey. This is two friends, long-term friends, uh, but she has always had a crush on him, decide to date to try and make her family take her seriously and it would help his image. He's a baseball player who was injured. Now he's been offered a commentary job. It would be a really good deal, but he has gone off the rails since his injury and he needs to clean up his act. I am not a huge fan of this book for the simple reason that she is not treated well by her family. She's treated like a child and it gets on my freaking last nerve. The family's loving it in all the other ways, but they just, they treat her like a kid. They don't take her seriously. They don't listen to her. They make fun of her teasingly because she's a clown. She works as a clown for kids' birthday parties and she's trying to make it more of a party business, but nobody takes her seriously. And that got my nerves, but in every other aspect, this is a really good book and I enjoy the series as a whole and Tessa Bailey as an author. Next day I have Fix On You, which is Fix number one by Laura Lynn Page. This is the first book in a trilogy and it ends on a cliffhanger. There is a fake dating trope. She is a stalker. <laughs> he offers a business arrangement. He has some issues and there's a lot of drama and this is our dark romance and there are gonna be times when you cannot stand him. There's a side character that you really won't be able to stand. So if all of that sounds okay to you, the series is hot, it's crazy, it's wild, and it's addictive. Number four, I have Axel in Heaven, Just Summer Boyfriend number two by Francesca Penn. I just read this one recently and loved it. So she's in Hawaii on vacation and unbeknownst to her, her ex-boyfriend and his fiance who he cheated on her with, um, are having their wedding there that week. And so she, her name is Heaven, his name is Axel, Axel in Heaven, it's clever. Um, she just sees him on the beach and she sees her ex and she walks up to him and asks him to be her fake boyfriend and he does a phenomenal job and it's so sweet and so cute. So it's like a vacation fling and a fake dating romance. And then it grows from there and continues from there and the story is great. This is an interracial couple and racism is not the big bad. So if that's triggering to you, there's not a bunch of racism in here. There is one instance where he's like, it better not be because she's black and it's not. So just, uh, just uh, so you know, but I loved it. It was delightful, so good, highly recommend. Last but not least, it's Fake It Till You Break It by Megan Brandy. I talk about this book all the time, I'm not gonna lie, just because it fits so many tropes of the things I'm recommending. Um, I did really enjoy this book. I talk about it a lot, so I saved it for last. This is a high school fake dating romance, and it's a little bit of enemies to lovers slash friends to enemies to lovers. <laughs> and it is drama filled, and I could not put it down. It is so clever and fun. And the tension between these two is high. Uh, and yeah, it's a good time. So that's it. That's all my fake daily recommendations. Like I said, Marriage of Convenience will have its own video because they're not the same thing, right? So I'm excited about that. I have a bunch of great books for it. What's your favorite fake dating romance? It's so common. 
but so good. Like, do we ever get tired of it? No, no, we don't. So let me know your favorite. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.